everyone and welcome to Twist Tales, an upcoming game uh, that uh, is it's pretty far out. So this is like a pre-alpha demo. This is a very early look of Twist Tales. Uh, there is going to be a Kickstarter that is starting on the 6th of September. So I'll tell you right off the bat, I will include a link to it so you can go and follow the Kickstarter if you like. The game is not set to come out until about 2025. So when I say it is a early look, it is a very early look. like this kind of storybook opening. The wedding. Oh no, it's like a, it's almost like a, what you would find in like one of those pop-up kids books. This looks nice. We got an angry queen and not angry but just kind of why are we here? Oh we got a little fairy godmother. She's a happy lady. This is our Cinderella lady. Yeah, because she's got the glass slippers. And some shadowy darkness. And I don't trust the priest. <laughs> oh man, now it's got, it's got her soon to be a bride. <laughs> they got crushed by their brooks. Uh, it's awful. Uh oh, oh, and the fairy godmother got jacked up. Oh man, her bride's all messed up. The rats are going crazy. Man, her dress got. Oh no, her glass slippers too. Oh no. Oh, she's having a really bad wedding. <laughs> oh, my, my heart bleeds for her. It feels so bad for her. I mean, that's... That is rough. That is a rough start to any day. I can only imagine how bad that must be for a wedding. Oh, I guess the lesson to be learned is don't get married. Uh, uh, what is happening? So the, the developers are like a French studio, so uh, expect some French. I speak none of it, so hopefully, hopefully there's a lot of subtitles. It's falling apart. I gotta find a way out, or I'm gonna die like everyone else. All right, moving around. Movement's pretty solid. Um, my character looks pretty cool. It definitely has a like American McGee, Alice in Wonderland kind of look to it, which is really what drove me. Uh, to being interested in this game to begin with. Uh, the developers were kind enough to give me a key to uh, to create some content, show people during its, you know, during this time period. So I'm super appreciative of getting the opportunity to do that. Uh, and uh, yeah, I really look forward to experiencing everything this demo has to offer. I'm not sure where to go. <laughs> Like, I have to get out of here, but, um... Okay, I, I see it now, but I want to explore. Man, so the, um... The priest was just, like, a monster-sized of a man. He had to be at least, like, eight feet tall. You can climb your way to the top by jumping closely to the platforms. Alright. There we go. Climbing up. Yeah. Call of Duty is putting Lara Croft in their, uh, their, 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 their game for some short period of time. They should have used our lady here because she's uh, a little bit, well, a little bit more interestingly designed. The game looks fantastic. I really like the stained glass. Get a princess over there. We've got other things. No, we don't want to climb back over here. Fairy godmother. Talk about. She's got a pumpkin. 
uh, fire. I think I just got injured because I was too busy paying attention to everything else around here. Ah! The piano makes noise if you walk on it. That's super cool. Uh... Alright. Um... Where am I going? Alright, came across this way. It looks like I gotta go up, but I, I'm not sure. It seems like maybe this is not the way? Oh, it is. I didn't think the pipes were gonna be something I could walk on. I don't know what those are. Are those, like, donuts? Well, even if they're not donuts, I will think of them as donuts. Everything will collapse. Well, let's, let's run up the stairs. I like that there's an arrow kind of pointing out the right way to go, even though, like, there's nowhere else to go. <laughs> it's like, come on, I mean, I, I could have figured that out. B to dodge. Alright. That was, like, a heck of a dodge. That's that's not just a dodge. That's, that's like a dive. Okay. Uh... I think I'm running away. I think that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, it's definitely I just need to run away. Man, teleporting enemies, man, that's always a little bit rough. Nice little cinematic dodge there. Yeah, take that rock. I cannot. Oh, so those are probably mushrooms back upstairs uh, instead of donuts, but I'd still like to think they were donuts, but it's probably because I didn't eat breakfast. Oh, no! No! Oh, God! I fell in the... I almost fell. That was unexpected. I didn't think the bridge was going to collapse. Oh, what are these little butterflies doing? What are they doing? Are they going to make me feel better? Oh, Cinderella. Cinderella. It is the godmother. Where are you? What happened? Who attacked us? Is Henry? Henry's gone. Cinderella. We don't have time. Listen to me carefully. Uh, do not discuss. Please, you're in danger. We are in danger. You have to go to my house. I'll answer all your questions. Her home is the shank. Oh, what if it's like a... Like, what if she's actually the Baba Yaga? It'd be a kind of cool little twist of fate. Oh, it would make sense because Twist Tales. Yeah, like with the title of the game. Um, where are we going? There we go. I'm enjoying so far how the game is doing a pretty stellar job of kind of pushing you toward a specific location. Uh, you know, like f moving forward and trying to get me to go to certain certain areas. I think the uh, character model for Cinderella looks really nice. Um, and, man, it just, it really just fits like that American McGee Alice look so well. And since we're never going to get another one of those games, it's awesome that some developers have decided they're going to make their own kind of version. And, um, and I'm here for it. This looks... Looks cool. I kind of don't want to run past all these things because they look really cool, but I figure if I stand here too long, uh, they will kill me. Oh, look, they're jumping to their death. They're not very smart. We'll just watch. Don't do it, guys. Stop it. Stop. You're, it's it's all downhill from here. Just don't do it. Well, there's one guy who didn't make it. Let's go, let's go get these other two guys. Come on. Come join your friends. I think they should jump down here, too. Come on. Come on, do it. Oh, yeah, they're going to do it. All right, that was cool. Got some mushrooms. All right, this is like a pretty cool... Look, we're in Black Reach. Yeah, is that what's happening? A little Skyrim reference. Where is my settings? I feel like... I want the, uh, some of this to go up a little bit. 
uh, little increases of the music and sound. I think it's just there's not really a lot right now. And I think it's like but this is by design, but... Oh, well. Uh, am I going to slide? I am going to slide. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot of cool animations. We've got running. We've got sliding. I can jump. Uh, I can dodge. It just seems like if you... Well, never mind. I was going to say it seems like if you hold the dodge button, you kind of get like a dive. But I guess that was just kind of something that happened earlier. Oh. Why to push? All right, we can push stuff too. So we're gonna have some blank pushing puzzles probably. Where are we going, Cinderella? Are we gonna come out in a new world? Is it gonna be, you know, I don't really know enough about Cinderella to guess. Oh my gosh, she just got shot. She got shot. In the she got shot in the neck. Oh my gosh. I was not. Oh, I was unexpected. That's terrible. I shouldn't laugh. It's not funny. To be continued. Oh, is that it? That's 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 it. Let's go to the playground. Let's check out the playground. Kind of see what that's all about. Um, I mean, from a, just like a perspective of playing the demo. Oh, look at that. We got some sweet armor. Uh, face is all cleaned up. It's pretty cool. We got a book. What's the book do? Uh, but anyway, but from the gameplay perspective, from that introductory level area, that was really, really well done. That was super cool. Um, this demo comes from a very early version of the game, pre-alpha. This is a passage invented for this demo and inspired by the third world, Little Red Riding Hood. This little passage will certainly not be available in the final version of the game, but gives an idea of the atmosphere of the game. Enjoy. All right. I have been so afraid of losing you. Got an extra F in there. Don't worry, I'm fine. I'm here now. We must hurry up, little pumpkin. Danger is coming. I'm calling it now. The fairy godmother is totally Baba Yaga. Okay, but I have issues to deal with this asshole first. Language. Language. <laughs> Translation errors. Yes, you're good, mother. First of all, I am going to visit this priest to teach him a lesson. Yeah. <sighs> That's like a pretty cool way of, of that to kind of go through. Attacks by pressing X, perform a combo, uh, and a jump strike. Let's see. Alright. Let's break these barrels. Oh, we get like little blood droplets. Or ink, maybe? I'm not real sure what those are. Uh, but there's certainly things. I like collectibles and getting little, little shiny stuff, so I don't know what we'll be able to use with those, uh, but I am definitely curious. Can I take these? No. Man, I, can't, I just see glowy stuff, and I think I can take it, but I can't. Alright, well, I guess it's time to go down the road and try to see what kind of cool shenanigans we will find. Um, so I will climb over this automatically. Oh yeah, yeah, look at that. Let's do it again by jumping over it. I am a regular platforming champion. Cinderella is doing a spectacular job. I am looking forward to the concept of some combat up here. Oh, here we go. During fights, you can dodge attack by pressing B. If you dodge at the best time, you can immediately perform a destructive counter attack by pressing X. Well, I am certainly going to try it. Uh, and you can lock on, so that's good. It's a little hard to kind of figure out the timing of the punch. Um, so the timing of like the dodge followed by your attack, that feels like a little bit off. Because um, I feel like if you would do it as soon as they light up like that, that it would be the right one. But I feel like maybe it's not, but I don't know. Hitting and killing enemies charges your crystals with energies. Each spell consumes several energy charges from your crystals. The longer you fight without getting hit, the faster the energy grows. Hello, everyone. I am here to kill you. Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> they can lock onto enemies. I already figured it out. I just didn't do it there because I didn't need to. The enemies didn't really seem like they wanted to attack me until I started to attack, so they were purely defensive mode, which makes me feel kind of bad about it. These animations are really well done. And the, the game world itself is really pretty. It, you know, reminds me, again, like I said, of American... Oh, I just got shot with an arrow? Uh, but it reminds me of American McGee's Alice. Uh, but it also reminds me of World of Warcraft a little bit, which is potentially, like, kind of a weird, you know, comp, you know, combination. Uh, but it's, it's more of, like, the art style, I think, that just kind of reminds me. But it's very very good and satisfying to look at and it's a beautiful world I kind of feel bad for killing these little cute crystal creatures the water looks nice hopefully the water guy will kind of uh, pick this up at some point and say like oh look at the water so right button left button cast this or so select a spell right trigger to cast a spell Okay, so my choice... Oh, this is a gun choice. Let's go with the gun. Uh, and it says it, like, consumes crystals. The switching to uh, the different characters works pretty decently. Definitely need health. Uh, let's see. That's like some kind of snake thing. I I just took damage from something. Oh, this person's up here. I did not see them. I feel like one of these might... Like, this could be perhaps a healing spell. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try all the magic... Disregard, that's not it. Or it probably isn't. What's my, so the yellow's my health. What's the red part of my face doing though? I don't know what that does. Uh, let's try... Oh, that's pretty cool. That is like actually a really cool attack. I wish there was, like, a counter. Um, that was not what I thought it was. It's actually, like, kind of a grappling hook. And that's actually pretty cool. But it seems like the hat one is going to be my favorite magic spell. But uh, we're going to switch to this. At the moment, the game is automatic. You just have to pass near a lectern so that your progress is saved. All right. We are saved. Yep, I know how to run. So I do notice you have like a bit of a... A bit of like a... Kind of a heavy attack if you're running, so that's pretty cool too. Still don't know what all these do. These like... Blood droplets or whatever they are. I can only imagine like how much more immersive the game is going to be when they kind of add all the sound uh, to the game. Like, so obviously, uh, during this alpha demo, it's, it would appear that there's just a lot of sounds that aren't present. Uh, primarily, like, you know, some music or things like that. There is some music in the background, but it's still just kind of on the low end. Uh, do we go left or right? We're gonna go left because I see some like stuff back here. Oh no, it's just light. I see light. I think this is ground. <laughs> Wasn't sure. I thought it might be water. Uh, and I, I don't even know if she can swim. 
Press interact to collect. Uh, okay. All right, so we get a bunch of more of the little... Whatever those are. Yeah, this water is really well done. Um, but more than that, like, this environment is just so well done. It's really put together nicely. Um, you know, it gives a very realistic kind of forest feeling, and I like that the game has enough kind of openings um, so far where it, even though, you know, it's obviously a linear, linear experience so far, it doesn't feel like I'm being forced in any particular way. It all seems to just kind of naturally flow uh, to where I'm going, which is, like, super nice. The Red Wedding Cemetery. So this is definitely, like, an Alice and Wonderland scenario that I'm in. That's a lot of people. Uh, let's see. What does this do? What does this one do? This one is some kind of hook. Alright. That's pretty good. Oh, and now I see where the crystals are. I'm locked down to somebody. Oh, this person right here who's just kind of standing. Alright. For a second there, I wasn't sure if this person was somebody who just was actually some kind of NPC or something, but now they just... They just didn't want to join the fight. I don't blame them, because I just killed everybody. And I think I figured out why my face was turning red. It looks like I'm actually building up some, some kind of rage or something. So I will use that the next time I run into combat, which is going to be right up here. Oh, look, it's going to tell me. It's like figured that out. So during your fights, the corruption of enemies invades you little by little and fills the transcendence gauge. When it's full, you can release this energy by pressing LB and RB at the same time, and then you go GAD mode for 12 seconds. Oh. Wow. Wow. That is cool. Uh, it also looks really cool. Yeah, if I would have known it was going to do that, I might have just said no and waited up until... Uh, I hit, like, any kind of really difficult encounter, like, possibly a boss or something. Combat is really satisfying. I think it needs a, it's gonna probably, you know, progress and grow as time goes on. It definitely could use a little bit in the way of, uh... I would say probably some like a little bit more impact. That's that's the word that I'm looking for. It would also be cool to see a little bit like maybe a second weapon attack, like a heavy attack. So I'm not just using one button for the combo. That would just be something that I think would be cool to, to add. That's a change that I'm hoping might happen as the game progresses. But, I mean, this serves a very good purpose as a demo. And it, is, it really opens up the eyes of me, the player, and just showing me what, you know, the game is... Uh, you know, has a very good chance of being. And it looks like it's just going to be a really really awesome game. One of the things that I loved about, like, Alice in Wonderland, or not Alice in Wonderland, but American McGee's Alice was the environment. And the setting, and just, like, the art style, and this game definitely captures it. I think it has better better combat than American McGee's Alice. Uh, by, a, by far. Uh, but it could be because I'm more of a sword guy than a dagger guy. Um, but no, it's really... It's really satisfying combat. I can only imagine it's going to get a little bit better as they add a little bit more impact to your attacks. But yeah, it's just... It's fun. I like these special attacks, too. They're really cool. This grappling hook, my little scorpion attack, that's going to probably be my favorite. It's certainly my favorite now. 
do you feel bad about killing these little guys though? Because they're so cute, and I feel like they're just they just kind of happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, they should have done some, made some other choices with their day, and they'd be fine. They wouldn't be out here getting smashed up. Oh, I'm trying to get the god mode, but I'm just, just not there yet. Well, lots of bad choices. Yeah, and now God Mode is useful. God Mode is activated now when I don't need it. That's alright. Can't heal anything. I can heal myself right now. The the Mad Hatter like drop in and stab people through like a teleportation thing is also really cool. I don't know what just happened. I must have like finished something. Oh okay, I opened this door. I think that's what happened. Jump attack is nice. I'm having a good time. Oh, dude, are you like stuck in here? He was, but that's okay. Oh, we can save our progress. Hooray. Oh, that's not what I want. I was trying to see if there's something I can do with these little blood crystal things, and I really don't know what to do with them. It's something I have not run into yet, so I don't know what purpose they actually serve makes me super curious because I want to know what it is I want to know what I'm gonna do with it um, but you know it just it takes time it'll it'll come it'll show me and we'll do cool stuff with it I'm sure Ooh, look at this cool castle uh, look it might be a church actually uh, this might be where we fight our boss Maybe. I, th I know that we're going after the priest, so I'm thinking this might be the priest. I like the little flutter of her legs as she's trying to climb up places. The slots and the altars are empty. Two special keys are missing. They must be hidden in one of the rooms of this huge vault. You will find them on altars similar to these. Okay. I saw a room downstairs, so I'm thinking one of them is probably going to be downstairs. Uh, the altars that I need. But I also think... That I need to get, I might need to go up here. I don't know. Hello, statue of a lady who doesn't seem to be very happy. Gigantic skulls. I feel like everybody is way taller than Cinderella in this adventure. Uh, she's just not very tall uh, in comparison to like everyone else. Cause that was a really big skull back there. Altar number one has been found. Alright, that seems like a nice, easy puzzle platforming section. It's pretty cool, though. I like the concept. Oh, what it. Uh. I don't like these traps. Like, I, can't, I don't want to make mistakes. Alright. What 
one puzzle piece down, or one key, I should say. That's like the appropriate thing. Yeah, so I think the other side that had the door, that is probably where I need to go, so I'm going to head that way now. <laughs> Not sure who's laughing. Is this going to lead to a secret door? It doesn't. Oh, missed opportunity. I like how creepy the environment it is. But it like maintains like this kind of storybook feel to it, which is also like really cool. I think it's like one of the hardest things that uh, game developers have to do is they have to try to make a game uh you know, be immersive and, you know, have the environment really capture you and make it make it a place you want to be. Be fun to play in, and this, they certainly have achieved that. Oh no, little, little kind of rock goblin things, or whatever you want to call them. I feel so bad, they're, they're so cute. Is that going to be enough of a distance for me to jump? Uh, it might be. There's my first death. And <laughs> my second death. It's okay though, it's alright. Yeah, that is like... Very, very... Uh... Precise. You have to get that just right. There's like just enough room uh, for that jump. Well, that is how you make an entrance. That's a really cool way to drop a drawbridge. Oh, I'm going to have to jump back across there. All right, where is where is the thing? It's got to be in here somewhere, right? Nope, uh, those are not it. Oh, no, 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 no. I yeah, should know better. We have so many of these things. The little blood gems. I really don't know what to call them. First boxes that I could not kill. Sorry, Cinderella. Those are boxes that apparently we are not able to defeat. Alas, the Cinderella war against boxes met its match today. I'll say I jumped over here just to kill like one person, one archer. Nah, it's actually the way to go. But yeah, I mean, how can you not look at these little guys and say, you know, I want to take one home. You know, I could put it on my, on my couch. You could watch TV with me. We could have a good time to do it together, uh, as opposed to killing, killing them, because they look super cute. This is like a weird room. Uh, I guess it's where they kind of put the bodies, the caskets. I still, I'm, I'm kind of confused at this point. I'm not sure where the um. I think 
I broke this door. Uh oh. I feel like this door was supposed to be something I could open because when I first came up here, there was uh, it popped up with the Y to interact, but then it went away. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully it um it opens, or maybe I open it from the other side. I don't really know, but I a little am a little bit concerned that I may have messed some stuff up here by pushing some buttons that I shouldn't have pushed. I like the creepy river of red that this is. I don't think it's a river, actually, but you know what I mean? It's like a bunch of red water. It could be blood. It could be wine. It could be cranberry juice. Grape juice. Beet juice, maybe? I'm not really sure of, like how many different fluids there are that are red. Like hibiscus tea, perhaps? Oh, this underground location is still really cool. I, I, I'm just kind of confused. I thought for sure I would have found the key by now, and I haven't found the key, and part of me thinks I've I've somehow missed it. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully this isn't the case, and it's here somewhere. Oh, yeah, there it is. That is the second key, because there are only two keys. Just have to find a way in here. Alright, what's this? It's a puzzle. It's, I think it opened the door? Seems to be time based. Yeah, it is definitely time based. Alright. Uh, activate it again. Yeah. Alright. I know what I'm doing. I just, sometimes it takes like a little bit. And I just, I'm a little slow sometimes and I can't figure out what it is that I'm doing. But I've put two and two together. It looks like this should have opened. And that is what happened. I now have two keys, so I should be able to go out and just kind of meet the priest and then send him back to death. Because I have God Mode, and I am going to use it to my advantage. One key? That looks really cool. It's like really well done. I like the lighting. I like the colors. I think Cinderella looks fantastic. Look at her earrings. Those are pretty nice too. They're like pearl earrings, I think. Uh, but her armor's nice. It seems functional. She's not wearing like just this kind of skimpy outfit that doesn't provide any armor because that's what people like in fantasy games. No, I think it's actually very realistic armor that makes sense and it looks super awesome on her. Um, I like that her legs are... Uh, those might be dirty legs or they might be socks. I'm not real sure. But I just think it's like really well designed. Kudos to the artists. Clotaire. I think he's going to launch stuff at me. He is. And they cause a little bit of damage. Aw, oh, man. They took away my, my god power that I stacked up for this, this moment. I think it has a really good, I mean, so far the combat here, like the boss battle, I feel like I should do a little bit more damage to him, like, I'm not doing a lot. So I 
wish I was. I definitely wish I was doing more uh, damage to it. But um, overall, like, oh wait, am I getting hit by lightning? But overall, the, the what is what is the word I'm looking for here? The combo of fighting the the attack pattern of the boss. It's fun. It is relatively easy to kind of figure out what you're doing and, and how to properly do it. I think this part right here where I'm fighting these other guys, that might make it a little bit more difficult. Yeah, because you don't do much damage to this guy at all. Uh, which kind of drags out the boss battle a little bit, I think. I guess if I had, like, a ranged weapon, I would be using it at this point. I do have, like, my spells... They don't do much in the way of damage for it. Like, I mean, it's super good to get real close. Like, quickly, but it doesn't really, um... do a lot. And if you get hit by one of those, you're basically gonna get hit by all of them. Which is, I think that's maybe a little rough. Because uh, it is kind of difficult to figure out where they're coming from when you're busy fighting the enemies. Alright, so Din's like little stun state, he takes more damage, which is nice. Although, I feel like in this portion, it's going to be better to just run around and avoid them completely. And just kind of wait until stuff happens. Bring back your little lightning shield guys, and then... We'll, we'll, we'll continue our little fight scene here. Glotaire. This is a really satisfying boss fight, though. Oh, he's almost dead. Oh, we got him. That's right. Cinderella has a good cue. Cinderella. Well, that is it of the, you know, the demo that I was provided. Uh, that was a lot of fun. This is a really cool game. I will include the link in the description. So if you like what you saw, please consider wishlisting it on Steam and following their Kickstarter. Remember, it does start on the 6th of September. I'm just double checking. Yes, the Kickstarter officially goes live on the 6th of September. It is, um, you know, the game is not expected to be released until 2025. So it's, it might seem a little far off, but it's really not that far off because it's 2023. Um, this was a pre-alpha demo. It was super cool. I really enjoyed it. I quite liked it. Uh, definitely looking forward to... Uh, jumping on the Kickstarter here in a week and I hope you'll join me as always the link will be in the description I will include the link for the Kickstarter and the, the game itself please give it a consideration and if you like the game and you like this video that's awesome and I'm happy thanks for